night, everybody. It's Inspector Pulse at home again, and I've been thinking about the fact that everything one says has a rhythm. I mean, how can you say something that has no rhythm? Everything has rhythm. Think about it. Like, everything has rhythm. Everything you say has rhythm. Everything you say has rhythm. Everything you say has rhythm. You can't say it without rhythm. You can't say it without rhythm. You can't say it without rhythm. Rhythm. Everything is rhythm. Everything is rhythm. Everything is rhythm. Every word you say has some kind of beat. And everything is rhythm. Everything is rhythm. So I'm kind of talking. I'm kind of talking. Everything I say, everything I say is like a kind of rhythm. Is like a kind of rhythm. I mean, I could do this all day. I could do this all day. I could do this all day. Isn't it weird? But you know, musicians, when they talk about rhythm, they often use the word bar. I'm not sure why. I, I mean, I am now because I checked, but at first I wasn't sure why. What is this bar? Is it a candy bar? Is it a chocolate bar? So I thought I'd ask people who know about the word bar. So first I asked a barista. He didn't know beans about it. Then I asked a barrister. But it was too expensive to get the answer. A barrister is a kind of lawyer in England especially. Then I asked a barber. And the barber was not very helpful about the music. So I checked the barcode on the back of the piece of music that I own, and it did not help me understand what a bar was. So then I went to an aquarium and I asked a barracuda. And it didn't speak any language that I could understand. It might have been speaking barracuda, but I didn't get it. So finally, I bumped into a baritone, which is also called a baritone, which is a kind of singer. Yeah, and being a singer, this baritone knew the answer of what a bar is. A bar is also called a measure, and it's a unit of time marked off on a piece of paper. Here, I can show you. Here are two bars of music. That's the first bar. That's the second bar. Each of these bars has two notes in it that are quarter notes, and therefore the meter of the bar is called 2-4. The meter is the pattern represented here by the number of beats in a bar. Who knew? Well, apparently some people know. So this goes one, two, one, two. That's all it does. Dum, 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 dum. If I make it long, nice notes. Ba, da, da, da. Right? Two, four. Now, what if I wanted three beats in a bar? What do you think I'd write? If I want three quarter notes, I would write... You're right. Three quarter notes. Three quarter. The four stands for that kind of note that's called a quarter note. And that goes ba da da ba da da One, two, three. One, two, three. There's, you know, uh, lots of ways to notate um, threes, but this is how musicians do three, four time. Now, if you wanted to have three tomatoes in a bar, that would be weird, but you'd put a three here and a picture of a tomato there, and then you would have to put three tomatoes in each bar. I think that makes perfect sense. Now, you can put other kinds of meters in the bar. You can put, for example, five or seven. These are eighth notes. They've got that stem on top. So, like a tomato has a stem, by the way, the eighth notes have a stem. So these go da 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 dita, one, two, three, four, five, 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 and here's seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Dot, 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 dot. See that? Dot, dot, dot. And then dot, 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 dot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You don't have to do that exact pattern. You could do four plus three. That's seven. Dot, 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 dot. Really, really fun. So then I made an experiment. I took a tune that everyone knows and I put it into an unusual meter in the bar. By the way, since we use meters in a bar, shouldn't we measure them with a barometer or a barometer? Well, apparently not. I don't understand that. It makes perfect sense. I mean, a barometer and it's not for music? I, I, I don't know. It has something to do with weather. But anyway, so I took a tune and I put it in a different meter, a different meter. In other words, a different number of beats for the bar than it usually has. See if you can recognize the tune.
Did you get it? I see that many of you are correct. It's London Bridge is falling down, but that usually goes in two. Da da dee da 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 dum. One, two, three, four. Da 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 dum. So you could do it in two or four. One, two, one, two, or one, two, three, four. But I did it in three. One, two, three, one, two, three. So the accents fall on each bar because the beginning of each bar has a little bit of stress on it, a little bit of accent, a little bit of emphasis. So it sounds like this. Now, here's another tune, which I'm going to put in a different way in three. See if you recognize this tune. Yeah, it might have been obvious because it was London Bridge is falling down again. I mean, how many times does that bridge get to fall down? I, I don't know. But I'll play it again instead of... It's in 3-4 this time, making it feel like a waltz, which goes 1-2-3, 1-2-3. A waltz is a dance. I really like that. Now... This bar stuff, talking about bars all the time, makes me think of a composer whose name is just very close to talking about bars. His name is Bartok. Bartok. That's right. You might remember Bartok from the last episode. Well, Bella Bartok, a Hungarian composer, used all kinds of interesting meters and mixed up his bars in cool ways. And one of the things he did is use a pattern that sounds like this. Or you could say one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So instead of dividing eight into four plus four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. He goes one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here's a little bit of this piece by Bartok. See what he did? In the left hand here, he goes one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, all the time. And then in the right hand of the piano, he has some cool chords. So I think I can do the same thing to London Bridges Falling Down. Here's London Bridge is falling down in the style of Bartok. Stay tuned for more interesting meters and rhythms with Katya Pulse. Hi everybody, it's Inspector Pulse and I'm still at home. And do you see who's with me? Katya Pulse. Hi. Well, Katya, I wrote something for you. I took the Brahms lullaby that I used to sing for you when you were little. Do you remember that? Yeah. It went in three. Like, da-da-da. You want to sing it with me? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Yeah, but I put it in five so it doesn't sound the same rhythm. It's like if you're in a cradle that went one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So it's right here on the music stand. You want to play it in five and then in three and then in five? Yeah, let's try that. Okay, here we go.
Thank you, Katya. Thank you, Inspector. That was fun. Hi, it's Inspector Pulse at home again. Remember, you can leave your questions for Inspector Pulse, that's me, in the comments section below. Click on the link in the video description to find more activities related to this that you can try at home. See you next time.